Welcome to Gearhead Country. This is our first Gearhead Country test drive. We're here at New Road Chevrolet in Newmarket, Ontario, and we're going to be test driving a brand new 2013 Chevrolet Camaro convertible. Our special guest who's going to be test driving with me is Colin Amy. <coughs> so let's get our stuff together, let's go out and let's have a look at this beautiful car. All right, here we are in the shop, and this is the beautiful 2013 Camaro we are going to be test driving. And with me to enjoy the test drive is Colin Amy. How are you doing, Colin? Doing great. Are you looking forward to this? I am. I'm very excited to uh, take this for <laughs> All right, nice casual drive. Yes. That's exactly right. And with us from New Road Chevrolet is Steve Ledbeater. Steve, how are you doing today? We're good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yep. So Steve, uh, tell us a bit about this new Camaro. Well, this 2013 SS RS package is a convertible. It has the big 426 horse, 6.2 liter engine in it. We have uh, 20.8 uh, front uh, rims and 20.9 uh, rear rims and two uh, Stop this uh, ground pounder. We've got uh, four piston caliper Brembo brakes. The color is silver ace metallic with a black convertible top, leather interior, Boston acoustic sound system. It's just a fabulous, fabulous car to drive. You're really going to enjoy it, Paul. So is this is this pretty much what one step below the ZL1 then, as yes, far as exactly, car goes? Yes, Yes, it's it's the. Uh, the one model below the ZL1. Uh, the ZL1 is carrying uh, 565 horsepower, supercharged, 6.2 liter. What's it like on gas? Um, it's actually very good for a uh, high performance car. You're looking at about 36 miles per gallon uh, on this car, um, but everything is depending on how the driver drives the car. Right. You know, if, if you are on the gas all the time, your gas mileage is going to decrease. But if you drive it nicely and uh, cruise along at a, on the highway at 100, 110k, uh, you'll get fabulous car mileage. And uh, it's a V8 then? It's a V8 engine. If you like, we can pop open the hood and take a look at this bad boy. That sounds good. All right, what were the specs again on this motor, Steve? This is a 6.2 liter small block Chevrolet. It's about 383 cubic inches. Um, very, uh, very uh, nicely uh, put together with uh, um, your soundproofing up here and all your components being covered. You've got uh, easy access to your windshield washer fluid, air filter, oil dipstick, and it has a really great uh, uh, torque for it for the uh, for the engine very nice very nice performance it's uh, it's not just a straight line uh, car it handles just like Formula One it's uh, just on rails going around corners very uh, uh, zero uh, uh, roll very flat on cornering mm -hmm. you'll just love it you'll just love this car awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> awesome let's have a look at the inside so I know they've changed a few things this year for 2013, Steve. What have they? What's new in the Camaro for uh, for this year? Well, the big item right off the bat is the navigation. Uh, Colin, it's right in the center. That large screen right there. That's uh, standard. And uh, the other thing that I love about the car, it's sort of a retro of the '69 Camaro SS. Are the gauges down in front of the uh, automatic gear shift lever? Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll get oh, shoot. okay, I see, yeah. Always love the 69 SS with the gauges down there. Yeah. You can see just above that, there's your navigation system along with your radio and everything. Uh-huh. And the other thing that's really neat is the rear view mirror. If you notice that, it's totally new style for 2013. The OnStar system is uh, uh, just a push button uh, touch screen Excellent. on the rear view mirror. That's very cool. The one, uh, the one safety feature that's fabulous with the car is you've got your Bluetooth and radio controls 
right on the steering wheel. So you don't have to take your eyes or hands off the road to adjust your radio, the volume, radio station, or to answer a phone call. Just a flick of your thumb and you can answer the phone, talk with hands free, and when you're finished just hang up by pushing the button again. Your cruise control is on the left side of the steering wheel again so you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel to do anything. What do you think, Colin? I think this is luxury man this is awesome yeah uh, you just sink right down in the seats you could like probably it's so comfortable you could probably fall asleep but you wouldn't want to do that <laughs> no not when you're no. driving no but it's a very very nice dash it's all very clean very clean looking yeah and this is kind of cool too it's like a it's like a baseball or a you know with the threading, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, retro, good, very retro. Good, get a good shot of those retro gauges. Yeah, they're yeah. all uh, again retro 1969 styling. So that's part of the part of the thing I like about the Camaro is they've taken a bunch of those styling cues off of uh, off of the older cars and incorporated it into something that's brand new, fresh, and uh, you know still still has that nostalgic feel to it in so many ways. Yeah. The other nice point too is just to customize your uh, comfort in the car. The steering wheel tilt is, steering? is tilt yep. and telescopic. Oh, so it's like yeah for somebody with me, short arm, like me with short arms, short totally arms and short legs. Challenged. Yeah, <laughs> they can still find a comfortable driving position in the car. Yeah. Also, you have power seats yep. that not only go back and forth but also up and down. Oh yes. And tilt. Okay, well that works well for me too because it's, you know, being able to see over the hood, yeah. you know, it would be, uh, it would be a challenge Advantageous. otherwise. The other yeah. really nice thing about the car as well is you can shift it with the shift paddles here behind the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So you can upshift and downshift the car oh. merely by a flick of your finger. That's decent. Cool. All the high tech goodies. Sure. Well, let's take her for a spin then. Well. Let's uh, let's pop. Let's put the yes. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You settle down there, young man. <laughs> You'd like to take the top off. First, <laughs> now let's let's uh, sure. let's fire it up and drop the top and have a look at it. It's like with the because I think it's the it's the quick release on the top too that. Uh... Oh, listen to that! Well, okay, gentlemen. <laughs> so we've got a Camaro convertible here. So how how hard or how easy is it to drop the top on this thing? Well, it's very easy. All we do is uh, go ahead and start the car. A nice little rumble, doesn't it? Lovely. Pull the handle down and turn it. That's it. And just push that handle back up in place where it was. Oh, sorry. That's okay. There you go. Keep going. And keep carry on. And pull it right down. There's a nice little tonneau cover that fits on that. If you like, we'll, I'll show you that. Okay. We get a better shot of the interior now. Very nice, now you're good for the open road. A 
I'll tear each one till I feel better and I won't look back because I don't like the view. Yeah, yeah, Ian, I have to say, this is the nicest thing I've ever driven. I've heard that, you know, again, very well built. Not like the old rickety old Camaros. So when you get it, you're gonna do a, uh, a right turn at the next set of lights up here, so. Yep, following these guys. It's also an experiment for the camera angles too, because I'm not it? quite sure what, what will work and what won't sure work. <laughs> So what do you think, Colin? This is very, very cool. Uh, it, exactly the way I, I thought it would be. You know, it, 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 uh, it's quiet, it's smooth, it's got a lot of pickup. Uh, and I really love, like I was telling you, the, you know, the heads-up display, like the floating uh, gauge. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to look off the road, but you can see how fast you're going. Lots of, lots of great safety features. Stephen did a great job selling it, like pretty much covered everything. All the all the new, the all now, the new features this yeah, year, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, this is great for warm summer days. Yeah, the nav is a nice touch. I think that there were a few people wanting that. Uh, they, they wanted the, they loved the old gauges. They liked everything, and they wanted the navigation system as well. So, and uh, yeah, it's nice with the backup camera and everything else. And, what do you think of the gauges, like the gauges themselves? Oh, yeah. Like these guys, like oh, the speed yeah. and the... Well, you know, the colors are really nice, too. I mean, it's, you know, the, the green and the, the red, you know, it looks really, uh, it looks really sharp, you know, I have to say. The steering wheel feels good. <laughs> no, I, I think this car really sells itself. Because my seatbelt's not on that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Heck.
forget the way I feel Radios on the engines I think As I tap my fingers on this wheel I feel like a prisoner
twilight faded there by the ocean waves. It made me feel at home. When I knew I'd found my place, lost in her embrace. I was baptized in her arms. Now, Colin, I'd like you to put your foot to the mat right now. Woo! <laughs> You want to try that again? <laughs> oh, we got a train coming. <laughs> Just in time. Here is a few more pictures of our beautiful SS Camaro. I hope you've enjoyed this gearhead country test drive. Special thanks to Steve Leadbeater and New Road Chevrolet in Newmarket, and our driver and artist, Colin Amy. We're going to be having some more test drives in the future with some more artists and some more fun cars. Don't forget to visit our website, www.gearheadcountry.com. And remember, if you're looking for a newer used Chevrolet, Buick, Cadillac, or GMC, come and see the folks up here in Newmarket at New Road Chevrolet. So let's get our coveralls on and our tools out, and let's get back to some more Gearhead Country. <laughs>